did not go outside to see the eclipse. If you, like me, live in fear of the moon, thanks to Mac tonight, you're not that interested in the day it blocks out the sun. <laughs> I.e., its plan comes to fruition. Hey, Seth, you want to go outside and see the moon win? <laughs> Got to wear special glasses or you'll go blind. No, thank you. <laughs> David, David, excuse me, David Eigenberg played Steve on Sex and the City. He was also in the Dick Wolf show, Chicago Fire. Interesting showbiz story. He was originally cast as a police officer on Chicago PD, but he made a terrible cop because everyone he arrested was set free because he refused to read them their Miranda rights. <laughs> I just can't do it, Chief. <laughs> Was that releasing the nitrous? <laughs> we made a joke implying the comic book that contained the first appearance of Aquaman would not be valuable. I was told Aquaman's first appearance was in More Fun Comics, number 73, and in mint condition, it could sell at upwards $185,000. And if you sold it for that much, I'd get out there and brag about it. And if you bought it for that much, shh. <laughs> oh, we are gonna try to pick our Emmy submission episode. Uh, we kind of have a consensus on the top four. So go to Sea Captain Polls. We're going to do uh, 96 versus 89 and 94 versus 82 based on the winners of that. We'll then have a final. And then after you pick a winner, I'll still wait two more weeks before I tell Shoemaker my decision. <laughs> I said endive salad. I'm told it was endive. For the record, I thought it was endive too, but when I said that in front of Baze, he slapped the salad fork out of my hand. <laughs> we referred to the increase in Donald Trump's wealth thanks to his Truth Social stock as paper money. That was incorrect. We should have said paper wealth. Paper wealth is money that's not actually real, whereas paper money is, of course, real money. Uh, though I wouldn't recommend trying to pay a New York cabbie with it. Certainly changed their tune since 2007. 2007, you tried to give him a credit card. It was like, Ugh. now you try to give him cold, hard cash. Same thing. Make up your minds, guys. <laughs> I implied Jean Valjean had been imprisoned 19 years for stealing a loaf of bread. He was sentenced to five years for the bread and then three extra years for each of his successive four escape attempts. Apologies to the French legal system for making it seem like they give you 19 years for bread theft. Five is okay. <laughs> I think five is fair. You make it any less than five, people are just, you're inviting them to steal your bread. <laughs> you could also send them something that feels like less than five years. You know, if like your prison system is overwhelmed and you don't have room for somebody, like making them sit through Les Mis. <laughs> Who am I? How do you not know? <laughs> I know. YouTube captions are videos. We don't caption them. YouTube captions them. And I appreciate it. It really means a lot to me that they go out of their way to make it easier for everyone to enjoy. With that said, could we not do this ever again? <laughs> Someone wrote, is your crew forced to come to corrections? They then asked, are they forced to drink? They are not forced to come. But if they come, they're forced to drink. <laughs> I made the sound of someone driving a tractor. I was told that's not the sound a tractor makes. Bunch you posited that I've never been on a tractor. <laughs> wow. 
what? You think I would trust someone else to get my wheat? I did a George W. Bush impression. And then afterwards, I said I had a C minus Bush. You should all be ashamed of yourselves. <laughs> the amount of people that thought I was referring to my pubic hair. <laughs> and by the way, the fact that I had just done a Bush impression and nobody connected saying I had a C minus Bush to that means it's an F minus Bush. <laughs> C minus Bush. I mean, in your heads, what does a C minus Bush even look like? I mean, is it something like this? You monsters! <laughs> I mean, I was never going to go down to graphics with that request. <laughs> Give me a few options for C minus Bush. That'd be their dream. I mean, they emailed them to me by the time I got back to my desk. How's this? And they didn't look like graphics. It looked like hastily taken photos. <laughs> Wanna guess which one of us made this one? <laughs> Someone wrote, it's pronounced Porsche de Rossi, not Porsche de Ross. Sounds like you missed the jokey. A lot of weird stuff's been happening since the eclipse. Oh, uh, sure, you're all like, it's not connected, whatever. <laughs> hey, we've been making a lot of jokes about Boeing doors. You know, we've been making a lot of jokes about Boeing because the doors are flying off. And, uh, and then I said Boeing plane, and then one of you said, you don't have to say Boeing plane because they only make planes, and then a bunch of you said, actually, you should say Boeing plane, because Boeing makes a lot of other stuff. And then um, I made the joke um, that um, they also made Lord of the Rings um, films, because those are so Boeing. And then Lederman yelled, Jesus, because I guess that joke was so bad, he converted. With that said, the reason I went through it again is that was all set up to one of my favorite jackal jokes ever submitted. Boeing can't make Lord of the Rings because they don't have more door. <laughs> Not a bad correction joke. Uh, went back last week in Seth's version to the old uh, how to pronounce Babar. Babar? The problem is everybody said there's no real right way, right? Because it's regional. Like you can say babar, you can say babar, and Boston say baba. <laughs> and in Chicago they say ba bear. <laughs> um, we talked about a cliffhanger, and this was uh, the cliff we used. I was told is um, not a cliff at all. It's McAfee's knob, and that's an actual photo of it. Uh, McAfee's Knob is on the Appalachian Trail. It's one of the most popular places to stop on the Appalachian Trail. And uh, you look right over there. You could say this is a knob with a C minus bush. <laughs> also, McAfee's Knob, only rock formation in America that can protect your computer from viruses. I want to do a new tag for the end of A Closer Look. Hey, everyone, if you enjoyed A Closer Look, that's enough for me. I don't need you to do anything else. I made it. You watched it. I don't need you to like, subscribe, do anything else, but live your life. Whatever it is you've been dreaming of doing, now is when I want you to do it. I'm going to stick around because I got nowhere else to be.
Go. <laughs> Go do whatever it is you've always, I mean, don't just watch like Kimmel videos. <laughs> Great. Go to a Knicks game. Bring my son Ash to his first, excuse me, Rangers game. Bring my son Ash to his first organized sporting event, right? And uh, they ask, they say, hey, can we cut to you during the game? And I'm like, yeah, sure, that'd be great, right? So before they cut to you, they show a clip from the show. And you know what they show? They don't show a monologue joke. They showed a joke from Surprise Inspection. <laughs> but they didn't set up. Surprise inspection. <laughs> so instead, they just show everybody the Rangers game, me telling Brian Donaldson's <laughs> scallions joke. <laughs> then it cuts to me, literally, people boo. <laughs> my son, it cuts to me and my son, my son leans out of the shot. Somebody wrote, I feel bad, Seth invented Birdbane, and they're gonna make Halloween costumes and he's not gonna make any of the money. And a jackal wrote in, he doesn't do it for the bucks, he does it for bucks laugh. <laughs> and there you have it. Singularity. You wrote an inside joke about a person you never met. <laughs> you never met Buck and you never have to. <laughs> you watched corrections and you made a joke about Buck and it worked. <laughs> and in the end, wasn't that the goal? You don't usually hear the rain inside. <laughs> That's a hundred. Kind of can't believe we did it. But we did it. A thing that nobody would have said was a good idea. And maybe they were all right in the end. But let me just say, I have no regrets about my time with the Jackals. We went through this together. We learned a lot. I grew. You didn't. <laughs> I don't know if any of us are better people, but we made something together. Couldn't have made it without you. And I just want to say that together, nothing will ever hurt us. Doug Jones?